Welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. And we are talking security matters, transportation, and all uh, inclusive, you know, everything going on at the same time. But this time around, uh, the Nigerian government, through the Federal Ministry of Transportation, has directed the resumption of the Abu Jakadona train services on Monday, 23rd May. In a statement signed by the Nigerian Railway Corporation Deputy Director of Public Relations, Yakub Mahmoud, the board and management of the corporation said that they wish to inform um, their customers that additional security measures are being put in place at both the train stations and the track to ensure the safety of the passengers on board. The corporation therefore urged the passengers to comply with the additional measures that will surely, according to them, be introduced for the safety of their passengers, such as requesting for passengers' national identification numbers, NIN, as part of their internal security check. In addition, presentation of the following must be strictly complied with before boarding the train. Now, the NRC management appealed to customers for understanding and urged them to cooperate with staff at the various train stations. Uh, we have Yahuza Getso security expert uh, joining us uh, this time around. Good morning to you, Yahuza. Good morning. Yes. Uh, good morning, listeners and viewers. Yeah, good morning. Uh, let's talk about this resumption, May 29. This is coming uh, amid, uh, you know, concerns uh, that uh, this, uh, those who were kidnapped, uh, the victims, are still in captivity. And the NRC is assuring uh, passengers, their customers, of uh, improved security. How do you react? Well, uh First of all, I want to tell you and the viewers and our listeners that, uh, you know, I have already made uh, a clear statement that Buhari administration is never a serious administration. Uh, they don't have passion and compassion for the human, human life as well as the, uh, the citizens of Nigeria. And at the same time, uh, they, they, they don't have the kind of, they keep telling lies. They keep telling stories. They keep creating confusion among themselves and within themselves. At a time when you have people in hundreds that you are not, you don't even have a, 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 a actual number of the people in captivity. And now you are saying that you want to start operating on 29 uh, for the train, Abuja Kaduna train. Yes, of course, it's good to start operating. But have they created an enabling environment that will build the confidence of those who are utilizing, using the train for their movement? How can you sustain use of helicopter to monitor the, 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 uh, uh, the train between Kaduna and Abuja? Is it cost effective? How much are you going to impute in managing that? And how sustainable is that? It's unrealistic. However, we are challenging the minister and the federal government under the, work, the leadership of Muhammad Buhari to come out and explain to us the measures that have been put in place that will ensure securing the, the, the people that will be utilizing the train. And at the same time, uh, since the, 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 uh, the time when the train was attacked, I have been flying Kaduna Abuja Road. I have not seen any major towards improving the status and the situation of the security and safety of life and property uh, for people that have been flying the road. So is the government that squandered billions and trillions and millions of money in the name of squaring the nation, but yet, rather than being squared, we are becoming unsquared every now and then. So the security challenges is widening. And at the same time, the leadership style, the leadership uh, kind of is very, very poor. And the administration have exhibited their incapability and inability to deal with this situation. We have said time without number. And I have said myself, and I'm repeating myself, that I know all locations where these bandits are. And I know where they are, and they know who I am, and I know who they are. And I'm repeating myself that all the governors, of the respective state where this banditry and all this cr criminality is taking place in northern Nigeria, especially north central and northwest, all the governors and all the security chiefs and security operatives 
as right from the division, the the, the, poli, the the outpost of the police to the local to the divisional police office, the local local security officer who is the representative of the DSS, the immigration, the civil defense, as well as the area commanders, they all know who are the commanders of this bandits. They know them. They have their numbers. They are discussing they are dis with them. They are communicating on phone. And they know their locations. And all our traditional leaders, they know where they are. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, it is only that Buhari administration is never a serious administration. And it's a big disgrace to Nigeria. And uh, it's a kind of, it's, a, it's an absolute failure. Buhari have deceived people. It's a big deceit. All right, Yahusa, That's my comment on this. Uh, Yahusa, we'll come back to you because uh, we understand that the families, they're still uh, lamenting uh, this whole issue. They are uh, groaning in pain. We'll take um, uh, sound on tape. We'll come back and talk more with you. Stay with us, please. Okay. Me, whether my mommy and daddy coming back. Since this unfortunate attack on the Abuja Kadena Bound train, we believe the government and commander in chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria alongside the security and intelligence chiefs have been working to rescue our loved ones. We have been given assurances that a positive outcome of these efforts will be apparent soon. We must, however, register our displeasure with the way and manner the Minister of Transportation, Mr. Ruti Michi Bukiamichi, has been handling the tragic event since it occurred. Mr. President also directed the management of Nigeria Railway Corporation to establish a situation group to give a minute-by-minute -minute account of rescue efforts to relatives of kidnapped passengers Still, one week after this presidential directive was issued, NRC has neither contacted the relatives of kidnapped victims nor established any situation room. To release them safely and let them free and all those in ca captivity. We have my two parents in captivity. This is the, 42, the 42nd day in captivity and still counting. We are pleased appealing to the government to please bring back our loved ones. We have missed them and some of them are breadwinners in the family. We really need them back. We, are the, we the families, are waiting in anguish and living without them has not been easy and it's still not easy and it's so terrifying. If you have the rail and people are not safe to, to ply on the rail, what is the use of the rail? And that's the same thing we have. We have our loved ones and imagine somebody is thinking of starting the rail again. I mean, it's, it's, it's impossible. We're not going to take it. That's definitely... All right, welcome back. It's still The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Uh, we just uh, saw a report there, you know, the families of the victims are still groaning and uh, I made some government um, reassurances. Uh, Yahuza, you know, there was a statement put out by the NRC. They have assured relatives of um, the abducted citizens in captivity that uh, the safe rescue of these passengers is a top priority and not to misconstrue the resumption of train services as abandonment. Uh, do you really agree with um, the government's um, statement, the NRC statement? Is it anything to go by? Well, uh, uh, there is nothing that will come out of our administration that can carry any weight. So I don't trust and I will never trust Nigeria Railway Corporation because I I am among one of the uh, intelligent experts that provided a free service, a free and uh, information ahead of, uh, uh, before they imagine the, the attack of the train. I have provided intelligence to the Kaduna team. I have provided intelligence to the, to, the, to the national team, to the Defense Intelligence Agency and all the intelligence uh, structures. That there is need to take certain measures and Saru were moving somewhere around those vicinities, around the radius of about 75 kilometers, uh, which form part of the areas where the train is passing by. But I was never taken serious. And I know there are other intelligence who have been providing such information like I have been doing, because I'm sure I'm not the only person that providing such information, even though I'm providing my own free of charge at no cost. Probably that is the reason why the uh, Buhari administration is, 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 is neglecting uh, those information that we have been providing free. The aim is to contribute our own quota. Being the expert, being the people that we have been risking our lives to go into the forest, to go to the areas 
that even our security operators cannot go to conduct a, a, a fact-based assessment, to conduct a, a, a survey, and also discuss with the relatives of the, the, the people in the captivity as well as the people that have been harassed by uh, these bandits. But yet, government have not taken it serious. And at the same time, I know there are intelligence equipment that monitor and track all activities that happen 50 kilometer radius outside Kaduna. So if this is available, why the security agencies have, were unable to fast track and even wasted one hour, 47 minutes, I keep repeating myself. My daughter, the daughter of my friend that was shot by the bandits was making a phone call and she reached out to her parents. This is the, their situation. And also I have a friend in the train who happens to be one of the people who escaped. And he made a clear statement to many uh, media houses, national and international, because he too is a media expert, that he was inside the toilet for one hour, 47 minutes before the arrival of the security agencies, the military, and whatever you, you call them. So if government cannot manage this situation, less than 15 kilometer drive between where the train was attacked to the train station at Ragasa in Kaduna, and these cowards, the bandits, were able to assemble buses and cut away the, the people they have, they have kidnapped. They ran away. And we provided information immediately for what is happening there. And I know Nigerian Air Force, they have aeroplanes, they have jets that they can use to lighten up to 600 kilometers from the sky and even 1,500 kilometers from the sky. Why didn't they use that in order to even scare the criminal so that the criminal will run away and uh, the people will be, uh, will, will, will be saved? But yet, up till now that I'm talking to you, government have not done anything, have done nothing in, 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 in making, taking any, putting any measures that will help this yes, get so. activity for almost two months uh, 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 to, 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 to be reunited with their family. Yes, yeah, so get so. Yeah, also get so. So um, the federal government has stated, I mean, that statement wouldn't have been backed up by the NRC, but it's a statement where the government is saying that they would uh, ensure that those who are still in captivity are rescued because they would not, uh, you know, abandon or relegate their responsibility. However, th the question here now is, do you think that it's, it's sensible, it's enough to have the real train um, up and running? Especially after um, you still have people not being rescued, you still have kidnapped um, persons in captivity of Boko, I mean, I beg your pardon, terrorists. Well, as, as far as I'm concerned, it's only on serious people that will listen to the NRC for being, for being there, uh, trying to assure people that they are provided measures. Yeah, yeah, also, yeah, also what are you supposed to do? Yeah, also get so. My, my question is, do you think it's, it's logical, do you think it's rational that the government would um, give that directive that the train should be up and running, you know, the train services should be up and running at a time where you still have some persons in the captivity of terrorists and it, you, the security of those who would be, um, you know, using these trans means of transportation is not entirely guaranteed? I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm very irrational. It's very, very irrational decision. What government would have done is to find a way of reaching out to these coward uh, bandits, uh, either by, 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 by killing all of them or doing whatever, taking whatever measures to rescue uh, th those in captivity and let them reunite back with their families and then deal with the situation decisively. I say, and I'm repeating, there is no location of this bandit that is not known. 
So if government squandered billions and trillions of money in the name of procuring equipment and gadgets, intelligence equipment and gadgets that can be used in monitoring and tracking all the activities. These bandits that are, 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 have kidnapped the, uh, the people, uh, uh, those who were attacked at the train, they have been communicating with the families of those in captivity. So what measures have government put in place to track them? And I said, if they don't know where they are, the traditional leaders and the divisional police officers, the in charge of the immigration and the in charge of the civil defense and all, at all the local governments, they know the location where these people in captivity are. So let them rescue them first. That's the only way to build the confidence of people, of public, to continue to, 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 to accept all the conditions or all whatever the uh, Nigeria Railway Corporation is saying, as well as the Minister of Transportation and the, the, the unserious government of Buhari administration. All right, Yahuza, let's look at some of the so-called um, security or internal measures um, that um, the NRC says um, you know, they have um, put in place. For instance, uh, they talked about uh, you know, the presentation of uh, NIN and, of course, uh, uh, no more uh, morning and night uh, you know, services for now. Do you really think um, those ones are far-reaching? I'm supposed to move in the day or in the night. That has nothing to do with uh, whatever. It has nothing to do with uh, uh, the train is moving at night. That is why it has been attacked by, by the bandits. It's no. The last attack that happened last year in October, I was in the train and it was the early morning hour. And you remember we had a discussion, I had an interview with you at station, and I made mention that I was part of the people that were, uh, were in the train, and we were attacked in the early hours. So it has nothing to do with that. What, the, what matters is for you to have a serious government, for you to have a serious system, if you have a serious government and you have a serious system, these guys can be fish, fished out and within 10 to 16 weeks, all the bandits and all the criminality in Nigeria can be dealt with. But since you don't have a serious government, you don't have a serious management in the Nigeria Railway Corporation, you don't have a serious managing, management in the Ministry of uh, Transport, that is why we cannot move stone from where it is to anywhere. I will continue to recycle and I want to tell you, I'm not praying, but worst attack may happen in the later future or in the near future. I'm not praying for that. All right, yeah, who's in, 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 in all honesty, the Buhari administration is a failure and they are not serious about scaring life, people and life. I have made it very, very clear. Remember, they borrowed money in order to put this uh, rail line. So if you squander that money and you cannot provide secure, uh, you cannot provide uh, uh, security measures for safety of life and property, then you are not serious. All right, Yahuza, as we round off on this particular discourse, as um, emotional as it is now, what do you think can be done uh, in the interim, you know, so that uh, we can uh, ensure adequate security? What exact, what features do you expect to see you know, in the short run, let's say in the next uh, few days and weeks, you know, so because at the end of the day, you know, people will still need to apply the, the you know, still need to move from point A to point um, B. Those who are not comfortable with the road or even have enough uh, to fly okay, may want okay, to resort to train. Yes. Uh, in this regard, what's supposed to be done yes. is government supposed to provide monitors and intelligence trackers between Ida, Jere, uh, Gidambusa, uh, Akilubu, Rijana, Aduwanja, to ensure that all these locations, the neighborhood where the bandits are, is clear. And those who are conniving and informants who are known to be dealt with decisively so that it can serve as a deterrence for others to learn, to learn a lesson out of it. And then at the same time, Government must to provide intelligence equipment that will provide at least information 
to, to the commuters of the train so that they can have information at least 15 kilometers and between each and every station where the train used to, start, used to stop, there should be a quite clear communication gadget whereby one station uh, will, be stay, will be communicating with other uh, between Kaduna and Abuja and between Abuja and Kaduna. Probably this will help. And at the same time, uh, they should improve in the way of selling the tickets. Not a situation whereby one general or one inspector, uh, um, uh, inspector general or a commissioner of police will buy 20 tickets on arrival at the station, while many people will be uh, kind of uh, joining you and then at a time when the trial, uh, maybe an hour or even two days before, they will be told that there is no more tickets. So there is need to do a lot of check and balances on the attitude and characters and background of the personnel of the Nigeria Railway Corporation at the respective stations between Kaduna and Abuja, right from Idu, Kubua and Ragasa, among others. All right. Because there is a lot of corruption in the system which you need to be dealt with. And there must be a punishable uh, a kind of a, a punishment to some of the staff that were found wanting. So that will serve as a deterrent. Otherwise, if we continue to, do the, to deal with the corruption, the same way Buhari has been dealing with it so poorly and uh, so deceitful, I want to tell you that we are moved, going nowhere and the train will still be attacked in the near future. I'm not praying, but if necessary measures have not been in place, and these coward bandits have not been dealt with decisively and accordingly, I want to tell you that the worst attack will come in the near future, especially as we move more closer to the election of the 2023 election, and at the same time, when we are unable to manage a review the memorandum of understanding that we have between Nigeria and its neighborhood, especially between the Anglophone and the Francophone states. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Yahuza Getso, security expert, uh, for your thoughts this morning. Thank you very much. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you, listeners and viewers. All right. Uh, we also promised that uh, subsequently we should be able to get um, the management of the NRC so they can actually come and uh, tell Nigerians exactly what indeed they intend to do ahead of um, the planned resumption. Uh, that's, uh, what, uh, that's as much as we can take on this uh, particular segment. We'll be right back after this quick break. Stay with us. <laughs>